foot. You're going to have the patient setting on the table here. You're going to have a 40 inch SID. So that's going to be on this side here, 40 inches. This one is to the bucky. So we're going to be tabletop. So at 40 inches, you're going to center to the third, the base of the third MTP. Sorry, I'm struggling with the machine here. You have to include all the digits and make sure you have a little bit of light back here. I always put my marker right at about this area here. We are going to have a 10 degree angle on the tube. Okay, no. the toes. Okay, for an oblique foot, we're going to take our angle off. There is no angle for an oblique foot. We're going to rotate the patient's foot in 30 degrees, not 45, 30 degrees. You're still going to be centered at the base of the third MTP. So that's about here. Marker up in the corner. Lateral foot, you're going to have the patient put the lateral aspect of their foot against the IR. You're going to have them dorsiflex their toes. Turn this in the same direction. We're going to have her bring her knee up just so that her metatarsals are all going to be superimposed over one another. There is no angle, so you're going to be perpendicular. And as confusing as it sounds, you're going to be perpendicular to the base of the third metatarsal. So at the level of the third metatarsal. Ankle, we're going to have a 40 inch SID. We're going to use a 10 by 12 cassette and we're going to be perpendicular to um, midway between the malleoli. So you have your lateral malleolus and your medial malleolus. We're going to be between those. So I'm going to center right here. Um, distal just a little bit, center a little bit more. Marker on the lateral side of the anatomy. You want to have the patient dorsiflex their toes. You don't want to have them over dorsiflex so that their toes are in the ankle, but here should be good. Um, medial oblique, you're going to go a full 45 degree angle of the ankle. I'm going to have you scoot your legs back here just a little bit. And you're still going to be centered midway between the malleoli. So let's go well, maybe here -ish. We'll still have room for our marker on the lateral edge. Um, and for an oblique, this is going to show the mortis um, joint. From AP, you're only going to go to 15 degrees to 20. to 20 degrees. And what that's going to do is open up the joint space. I like to just let the toes drop. It opens up the joint space a little bit better. Not sitting to the cassette work at all. There we go. It's a little bit better. For a lateral ankle, you're going to have them put the lateral aspect of their leg against the IR. Oftentimes, the patient does have to bend their knee in order to get in this position, and that's okay. What's important is this here, and you want this to be a 90 degree angle. So they're going to dorsiflex their, their foot. Come on. Whoa. 
we're going to be centered at the medial malleolus. Can you roll over just a little bit? There you go. You have to have enough collimation here to make sure that you're going to include the um, tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal. For an axial calcaneus, you're going to have your patient um, with a 10 by 12 cassette you're going to have them really dorsiflex their foot as much as they can. Um, oftentimes people can't dorsiflex. You're going to put a sheet around here and really have them pull or a towel, whatever um, device you'd like to use. We're going to put a 40 degree angle on the tube. And we're going to center at the base to the base of the third metatarsal. Which is really just right at the arch. You want to make sure you have enough room for your marker so there's the light field just here. And you still want to keep about a 40 inch SID. It's a little hard to um, eyeball. A lot of um, collimators will have a um, tape measure. You could use that if you, um, if you wish. You're going to have them in the same position um, you would for lateral ankle, which is the lateral side against the IR. And you're going to be centered an inch um, posterior, or excuse me, an inch distal to the medial malleolus. Dude, it's it's really hot. Oh. And then you really only have light here. There is a little tiny, tiny bit of light up um, on the lateral side. So if you can, I would rather put it on the lateral side than the medial side of the patient.